Hi, I'm Belinda, and here are highlights we shared at the Google for Games Developer Summit. Historically, it has not been possible for developers to set up app campaigns for installs while an app is still in the pre-registration state, making it difficult for advertisers to plan ahead with acquiring high-value users at launch. Soon, you will be able to set up app campaigns for apps in the pre-registration state in the Play Store. This means that you can avoid any time delay in going to market with your launched app and start advertising to users immediately after the app status changes from pre-registration to launched. We announced Target Return on Ad Spend for Ad Revenue, or TROAS for Ad Revenue, which is a way for you to find users who are more likely to engage with in-app ads. When you bid to target ROAS with a focus on ad revenue, you can directly optimize to revenue earned from ads shown in your app and dynamically pay more or less depending on how likely a player is to engage with your in-app ads. And I have some great news to share. All AdMob publishers are now able to seamlessly integrate ads revenue data into Google Analytics for TROAS campaign optimization at the click of a button with no additional SDK implementation required. This will incorporate all AdMob platform revenue, including mediated ad networks and exchanges. I'm also really happy to announce that Google Analytics now provides a complete picture of your app revenue from all monetization platforms. This allows you to import third-party ads revenue data into Google Analytics and send to Google Ads for target return on ad spend optimization. AdMob is introducing a new impression level LTV pingback that will help you calculate more accurate user LTVs from AdMob, including revenue driven by the AdMob network, as well as mediated networks in waterfall and in-app bidding. After showing an ad, AdMob will share the revenue from that ad with the publisher via a callback in the Google Mobile Ads SDK. This will be made available to all publishers in the coming months. Transparency of LTV across partners helps you identify where to allocate spend on campaigns that work well. This is why we're excited to share that AdMob's impression level LTV feature is also integrated by top app attribution platforms like Adjust, Singular, and Apps Flyer. This makes it easier to get clarity on return on ad spend, also known as ROAS. Now, Remote Config's personalization feature can help you automatically optimize individual user experiences to maximize your goals through the power of machine learning. While A-B testing gives you insight into how variants perform for different user segments against a control group, personalization works to continuously find and apply the right app configuration for each user to produce the best outcomes, taking that load off of you. We're happy to announce that we're optimizing rewarded ads to make it even more effective for publishers. Alongside the standard rewarded experience of short videos or playables, we have launched display ads and rewarded for a lightweight and non-disruptive ads experience. This has greatly improved rewarded demand, enabling publishers to increase rewarded impressions and revenue. Google AdMob supports many demand sources to help you earn more across real-time bidding and waterfall mediation. To increase competition for your inventory, we are continuing to add more buyers to the AdMob platform to help you earn even more. Currently, we have over 200 demand sources available for real-time bidding, including demand-side platforms from brand advertisers and many of the largest ad exchanges globally. We're currently onboarding more buyers such as Bungle and Snap to our bidding solution to compete in real time for your impressions. And we'll be accelerating our efforts over the course of 2022 and beyond. Those were just a few of the highlights from the Dev Summit. Check the full keynote and deep dive sessions at the link you see here.